get into this shit. Get the fuck over here, camera. Piece of shit. This is the original sample. So I brought that into FL Studio. I'm gonna highlight the part that I want, which is maybe up to here. It is, so up to there. Click this button here and drag it in. So I knew that the next beat was gonna drop right after I cut it. The major laser song is at 126 beats per minute. So I'm gonna click this little stretch button here, make sure it's checked. Instead of stretching it, I'm squishing it in half. It's a little bit too high pitched right now, so I'm just gonna reset the pitch to its original. And then you can loop it now because it's fucking on beat. So Major Laser took the sample and pitched it up 200 cents or two notes. We're gonna do that by turning up the pitch up here, 200 cents. Not that it fucking matters. It probably sounded good to whoever the fuck was making this at the time. So why am I even putting it in the video? I don't fucking know. Why am I making this video? What is life? Anyway, so we pitched it up. And now we have that. It still sounds pretty shit. So this is the processing that I've done to this. Now, wait a minute. This isn't the fucking processing Major Lacer has put on this song. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not. Thousand percent sure it's not. But hey, it sounded cool. And maybe it'll fucking help you do something. Effect number one, fucking wave shape. What is wave shape, you ask? I cannot spell. <laughs> Fruity Wave Shaper is a wave distortion effect which the horizontal increases the input and this increases the output. In my entire life ever used it like that, I always just raise the little motherfucker like that. So the next set of effects is Serum Effects. So I think this is just giving it a little bit of space. And this one is doing something else. <laughs> the next thing I added was my bright rack. It's just a lot of saturation and I'm not even actually using the saturation Just using the Fletcher Munson curve. Just Google Fletcher Munson EQ and FL Fatner for patcher Just get it for free. I'll try to leave a link in the description. And by the way, the order of things does not matter at all You could have started with this chant They probably started with the chant. No, I'm kidding. They probably didn't. I don't know. Maybe they did What? The Fruity Multiband Compressor, which compresses different bands. You have fucking main ones, low, mid, and high, and those are the settings compressing the sound. Doing that. Then I have a parametric EQ. It's just removing more frequencies. Later on in the song, you have a moment where the sample goes down in pitch. You could just slice a little piece and then I'm gonna make it unique and then just turn it down an entire octave. Just turn up the fucking 12 here, which is 12 notes, one octave. Turn this bitch down. Now I do make sure to click stretch on my mode because if you don't do that, then it won't pitch down. And that's it. But that's just how to sample like major laser. But how do you make a major laser beat? So the track originally starts with the sample and a little chant. I'd grab the chant from my sample pack and it goes like this. After the chants, you have a little sub drop and then the beat hits. So I grab this 808, you just drag it into the fucking thing. There's a few parameters we've changed from the sampler. One is the crossfade. So basically this kind of crossfades your sample, but I just turn it on so that when I click the button, the sample doesn't keep... Motherfucker. I also faded it out like this, set my root note to an E, which is what this fucking thing is. For the MIDI in this motherfucker, we have a note that one single note like this, I put a lot, I wrote, the first note I put up, fucking bullshit. I put one note. Motherfuck! Let me explain this. God damn it. I wrote a long ass note. Clicked this fucking triangle thing and made a slide note. I brought that bitch low as fuck and I turned the volume down on it. Right? That's what it sounded like. Let's get into this beat. What the fuck? The first thing I have is just a four on the floor kick. 
a little bit of percussion here. These are all percussions that I recorded over the years. So metallic, I like it though. Your snare on top of those. So basically it's taking one of the notes that would otherwise be on beat and bringing it back a beat. Now there are differences throughout the song. That's just adding percussion in different places, creating grooves. And you can get creative with this and do whatever you want. And if you wanted to write these on your computer, you could just see this and do it. As far as this little snare roll right here, it's just me writing MIDI notes with the snare called Deets, changing the velocity like this. So it kind of rises. That's it. And this one actually is a little bit different. Finally, I added some chants. The sub for the thing, which I actually like a lot. I'm just using the uh, 808, fuck. That's it. Like literally, I didn't fucking sidechain it, nothing. It's just. I don't know if it's the right baseline note. Maybe it is. I don't fucking know. But, um. So that was how to Major Laser. Fuck. Dude, Major Laser has an absolute fucking vibe, dude. But I hope you guys learned something. If you thought any of these sounds were interesting, make sure you check out my sample pack if you want. As always, this project will be available for all my Patreons, so don't forget to beat the fuck out of the like button because I heard that motherfucker was talking shit, and honestly, dude, I don't like when people talk shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Do you have anything to say?